So another rebranding of a flag. Team GB's Union Jack has turned a little bit pink and a little bit purple. Yeah, and a supporters flag uh, <laughs> for the Paris Olympics this year. This is the design. Um, is it going to make the official kit, however? Uh, we're going to talk now to Olympic legend. She was also an I'm a Celebrity contestant from 2011, Fatima Whitbread. But also, Fatima, good morning. It's so lovely to see morning. you. Let's just reflect a bit on your amazing achievements, though, as an Olympian, because you were the first Brit to hold a world record in a throwing event. You were the first That's woman right. to throw more than 250 feet with your javelin. You've got an MBE and you've got this world record throw in 1986 European Athletics Championships. So, you have worn that that kit with pride. What would pride. you say if they gave you a kit to wear that had a flag on it that was not <laughs> red, white or blue? I'd have to ask what's the meaning of the colours and, and why, because the Union Jack was adopted 223 years ago in, 19, in 1801 and the Union Jack is traditionally a symbol of uh, n the national pride and unity. I mean, let's let's look at it. I mean, the, the George, the flag is made up of the following, the, the George Cross of England, it's also made St. St Andrew's Cross of Scotland and St Patrick's Cross of Ireland. So this makes up the Union Jack, the United Kingdom. So I'm not sure why they want to change it because, let's face it, when you look at the colours as well, red is sim symbolises bravery, strength and valour. White represents peace and honesty and blue represents uh, vigilance, justice, loyalty and, and preservance. Pres uh, yeah. Doesn't say anything about what a really pink squiggle understand. represents, Fatima, does it? Not really. I mean, I, I was proud to, to stand on the uh, rostrum and, and see that Union Jack go up. And, uh, you know, I think it's uh, uh, really um, a question that everybody's got to ask themselves is what is the meaning of this change? Mm. Because it is the Union Jack has been there for 223 years. Why change it now? So, Fatima, just intuitively, what do you interpret the meaning of this change to be? Because a lot of people are saying it's a nod to maybe the LGBT community. Yes, I mean, look, the LGBT community is one thing. So, too, is if we want to get down to it. Fatima's UK campaign. No organisation or no ag uh, agency should be uh, bigger or more important than the Union Jack itself. I mean, it's red, white and blue. It always has been. It's symbolic of what we nationalistic know of our country mm -hmm. and it embraces everything in a nationalistic framework. So why change it if that is the case? Well, Any organisation or agency that it shouldn't be. Their logic, Fatima, from the design company said that red, white and blue is obviously synonymous with Great Britain, but it's far from unique because France and America have the same colours. So they decided to refresh. Well, let them change it. <laughs> Don't change ours. I'm, 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 I'm absolutely disgusted mm. to think that they've done it, actually, without actually, you know, um, let's face it, it's been there. It represents our late queen. It represents, you know, the, the, everything that, that embraces what's good about our country, you know, as years have gone by, you know, and uh, I, f I feel strongly about that. I do think it's, uh, you know, no, no, no way sh should they have just gone ahead and changed the, the, the symbolic country's colours. It's national pride and unity. And, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned... Have you spoken to any of your, your fellow Olympians about this? And also, additionally... <laughs> Do you get the feeling that our national identity is being eroded away in various eroded. aspects? As you see, as years go by, there's something else that comes up or crops up, uh, whether it be, you know, the, the LGBTQ or whether it be something else, you know, organisation or agencies. It's not about that. It's about our country. It's being proud to say we are Great Britain. And red, white and blue has been that since 20. 223 years ago, 1801. So why change it? Why is there a need to change it just because of other countries? We are what we are. We're not supposed to try and uh, mulch into something else, you know, in order to be individual. We are an individual country. We have red, white and blue in our colours, and that's the way it should stay. And I do please wonder if it's... I do wonder, Fatima, if it's a slightly a generational issue as well, because... 
you know, once you get older, you feel you can assert your opinion in a situation. And a lot of athletes, particularly, are quite young. Aren't they? They're quite infantilised often by the sports, particularly now, probably more so than they were even in your day. I can't imagine them pulling on the tracksuit and feeling that they can say anything in the way that you would have done. No, of course not. And let's face it, our forefathers who went to war for us and fought for all the different things that we stand for now in, in a generation that we are, you know, um, uh, being before us, that shouldn't just be wiped out either. I mean, let's face it, at the end of the day, I'm proud to be British. The Union Jack is what it's all about for me, a national pride and unity. And it should be for those younger ones to be built on the history of what we as a, as a nation mm. are proud to be. And, mm. and as I said... Get behind me, Academy's UK campaign for young children in the care system. I know you've spoken about it today. Brilliant. And uh, I'm, I'm doing every space camp all for May. That's Get online, support me, fatmiscampaign.com. Fantastic. We young will support you. And children and if you want to find that online, ladies and gentlemen, do Fatima Whitbread. So great to see Thanks, you. Fatima. Absolute British legend there. That is it.